Do we need more explosive stuff? Head is pounding, shaking. You okay, my guy? Ooh. Come on, man. Just go play some. Hello? Are we free? Yo. Alright, thanks, Jesus. New area. Ooh, what's that? When will it be my turn? Have I not shown restraint? My patience spans centuries from where I came. Mankind has not been wasted to breath, yet I bow to you. I have done so much for you, and I have gained nothing in return, Agrippa. I trusted you. It was I who, in all unfairness, should have entered that gate. the elevator breaks down again, make sure to use the steam engine to build the pressure before channeling it into the machinery. Adjust the levers to get a right amount of pressure inside the chamber. Three meters, or the meter should read up eight and down eight. Make sure the flow is set according to the following data chart. Set functions, output. Machine will check proper configurations, all rods are inserted. Chill here for a minute. Get our sanity back up. Slight headache. <laughs> Alrighty. So I think it's back out the same way we came, right? Nothing else hiding out. Oh, besides oil. We got a key for the machine room. So we'll dip out of here. <sighs> Yo, homie, you fine. Just a tree. Oof. Almost fell off on that one. Alright, so we can just dip back out. Easy peasy. So now we go to the machine room. And then after that, we go down. Professor Taylor was on second death caused by his damn curiosity. Oh, isn't that nice? Now it's spitting blood. Herbert, how did we find this place? An old friend back in Algiers gave me a map. Why isn't he with us? Didn't he want to come? He wanted to, Daniel, but things don't always turn out the way we planned. Mm hmm. You killed him, didn't you, old man Alexander? Alright, so. We have to take the creepy ass elevator all the way down. After we go fix it in the bloody machine room. Yikes. What do you mean it's locked? I have the key right here. Don't you see? So William Smith had been marked. There's no way for him to know the young man the other day. Such a terrible shadow. 
Today I went to the university looking for answers. I was able to sneak into Herbert's office and pick up an address book along with some relevant textbooks. Professor Taylor of the Faculty of History was very helpful and I managed to approach the subject of the orbs. The most interesting aspect was the prevalent trace they had left in our culture. The mythic orbs may in fact have inspired the Globus Cruciger which so many royal regalia holds to this day. In ancient times, the orbs were held by priests as a symbol of the sun and its power. As I was leaving, I overheard a disturbing conversation. Sir William Smith, the geologist, was killed last night. Less than a fortnight had passed since I'd asked for his expertise. I know it's silly, but I can't help feeling responsible somehow. Hmm. Alrighty, so what is it? Eight up, eight down. So I'll leave that in the middle. So that's six, seven, eight. That's six. How do I do this? I have to have like all three of these up. There you go. Flow is even and stable. Well, isn't that swell? Any other buffs? We got gas in our ass. That's nice. So now we gotta go shove these rods somewhere. Probably down in the depths over here. Wonder if it'll make us hide from a big bad guy. What do you think? No way, right? That doesn't happen in this game. Fourteenth of July, eighteen thirty-nine. I've read every book I can find on the subject. While rich in legend and hearsay, my knowledge is lack for the insight I crave. I've sent letters to many in Herbert's address book and received answers of varying importance. Today, I got one which differed greatly from the others. From a baron in Prussia. He said nothing about the quaint stories of priests in underground temples. He didn't even mention them. He simply wrote, I know. I can protect you. Come to Brennenburg Castle. Signed, Alexander. What am I to make of this? Protect me from what? Is someone after me? I looked up Brennenberg and traced it to the Prussian woods near the Baltic Sea. While being the least informative letter I received, it causes me greatest distress and interest. As I write, my thoughts are drawn to my nightmares in which a most disturbing sound calls to me. A sound defying description. A voice from the void. The last few weeks have been awful with so many sleepless nights dreading a repeat of those horrid dreams. Tomorrow, I shall visit my physician, Dr. Tate, in hope that he can provide me with sedatives to help me sleep. Mmm, sleeping sedatives. No, I'm kidding. Don't do those. So I think we need this, actually. 
Maybe. Where am I going? We probably don't need it. Note that there are only two spare rods left in the storage for elevator machinery. Make sure to only discard uh, the other ones which are badly damaged and keep the other ones in the inner study room in case all three would crack again. Huzzah! Or is that not the way they do it? Journal, notes, elevator instructions. Uh, Pink, blue, yellow? No. Okay, I don't like how it's so dark in here. My guy's freaking out. Um. So, yellow, blue, pink. All rods are in place. All right, so we're good to go then, I think. We can go further down. What's further down? Some oil. Need some coal. Toss a chunk of coal in. Close her up. It demands even more. Oh, see, it does want weird cog things. See, I knew a thing or two about a thing or two. Easy. We saw another one of those in here, didn't we? Maybe not. Maybe they are all further up. Alright, here. Let's just toss a couple of these over here. Yeet. Yeah, it should be plenty, right? All right, let's go find those other cogs, get those placed on. So much backtracking. Yeah, see, there's one. Yeet. Then I think the other one is way up here. 
So we shall pick this up. We should use it to bash our foes. Yeet. Screechy. Yeet. 